local help for Haiti is on the way in the wake of that devastating mm. 7.2 magnitude earthquake, which just rattled that region on Saturday, killing about 1300 people and then injuring thousands of others and leaving just countless buildings in rubble. The devastation just mounting. It really is just, just huge over there. It's crazy. And as Heath Allen shows us this morning, the response to the tragedy, a lot of people trying to help includes one doctor from right here in New Orleans who's made helping the troubled island part of his life's work. Keith, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. You're absolutely right. Part of a, a life's work, if you will. Dr. Vince Laborde from Ochsner Hospital. His home was in Haiti. His heart is in Haiti. And for, for years, he's been going back and forth, uh, helping this troubled country through a number of different uh, tragedies. And certainly now the most recent devastation with the 7.2 magnitude earthquake. He's getting on a plane this morning. He's headed back down there one more time, this time with medical supplies. It's a country that really can't sustain anything else. They've already gone through presidential assassination, the earthquake, mudslides, street gangs, violence, even COVID, and put on top of that uh, the, the storms that have been down in the area. Dr. Labor deals with global health education at Oxner Hospital, and in just a couple of hours, he's gonna get on a plane and head back to the devastation with the full weight of support, by the way, of Oxner behind him. Well, the first thing is we're going to be able to bring some really needed materials. And so we're bringing a duffel bag, about 350 pounds worth of medical equipment and, and medications that we're going to be immediately able to use. So that's really critically important. And bringing, obviously, some medical expertise and support for them on the ground. But I have to get there first. So I have to go to Port-au-Prince and then from Port-au-Prince really navigate my way to Lekai, which is going to be somewhat of a challenge. It was amazing and, and, and the difference he makes going down there and taking care of people and organizing medical care. And, and um, Oshner stands behind everything he does. I mean, do we just, you know, the emergency management team works to support him with his efforts supporting Haiti. So the bottom line now is, as you heard Dr. Laborde say, is just getting there. That he's got to get to Port-au-Prince and then to the devastated area with the medical supplies he's taking. And then he'll begin trying to lay some long-range plans for help down the road. It's going to be a long time for the recovery there. Guys, back.